What are you doing, little girl? What are you doing? Are you tired? Say, I've been up all night with Daddy building computers, and I'm tired. Come on, we still gotta build the loop. She's like, nope, I'm done for the night. You go build computers. You know, the only problem with the case that I can kind of come to grips on is at the top here you see that since this is going to be exposed that you this is where like all of the cables run right think about it think of how many cables you shove up and behind here to try to hide them from the main view well now since you can see that I don't know how or what I'm going to do because you will see all of these wires exactly want it to be shown um, so I'm not exactly a hundred percent sure how I should do it uh, I just kind of been sitting here thinking on it um, you know this is what it takes to build a, a custom computer you especially when you're water water cooling it and putting reservoirs and doing all kinds of custom work to it there you usually just find yourself just staring at it um, also I ordered a gimbal which is going to help with all the shakiness of the camera and everything and I'm very excited about that because I definitely would like to uh, step up my production quality a little and maybe here in the future I'll invest in a nicer better camera um, I do have a GoPro 4 that is um you know full hg and it does a really good job but i was like maybe an eight or a seven something that's i want the black edition because they're 4k uh but yeah i i think i'm gonna get one of those they're only like 300 bucks that's not bad considering that a new high 4k like video camera could cost you upwards to like 1200 bucks <laughs> Man, it just blows me away that they put grommets down there. It just blows me away that they put grommets down there. It's crazy. I got a brand new power supply and everything waiting for this sucker. I'm just waiting for parts to come. Um, I got, well, I already talked about this, but I got the, uh, I got the cable in, the PCI Express. Remember I said I was going to go all thermal take with it? Uh, well, majority of it, 90% of it's going to be all thermal take. The power supply, this, the fans, the case. Um, what else is going to be thermal take? Um, the, ooh, oh, ooh, shoot. The reservoirs, no. Um, the reservoirs are bits powered, and I actually just got those in the mail. Um, Y'all remember this case, right? I did a review on it. Man, I got cases everywhere, dude. I got a case there. Box. Box. And then two more cases over there. So that, how many is that? Five? I got five cases. Well, five gaming cases. I have other cases that are old school and stuff. Um, but yeah, back to what I was saying. Oh, Coke. These are all the behind the scenes footage and stuff that I guess I don't really put in the video because I guess it's boring is it not I'm just sitting here talking about this stuff I don't know but I definitely can't wait <sighs> I definitely cannot wait to build I got brand new tubing which I showed you guys that we got it from micro center um, we're gonna go with clear versus blue I think I said that as well Actually, you know what? There's clear tubing down here because I was looking at it earlier. Here, let me pull some of this out. Maybe. Yeah, there it is. Clear. Um, it doesn't matter the diameter, guys. How big, you know, how wide, how thick your tube is. If it's half inch, quarter inch, 
it's all going to move the same amount of water. It, it won't help in cooling at all. Um, it, it's, it doesn't matter with cooling on how much water you move in and out like that. But this is a nice tube. I like this. See, I, I think the clear acrylic is going to look good with this. Um, and we got some some cool toys that we're going to try to adapt into it. Uh, I would like to put a screen in it. So that way, the kind of like how I had... Do y'all remember the screen I had that was on the wall PC that sat about right there on the wall PC? Well, that is what I'm talking about. I would like to incorporate that into this somehow. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. I need some thoughts what do y'all think Lily? i got all these pumps just sitting up here waiting to be built in you ever had like writer's block where you had like everything you ever wanted to build with but then once you got it you didn't know what to build that's kind of how i feel out here i have all of these all of this computer stuff look at all these radiators i got sitting over here it's crazy and fans all them fans and stuff those are all Actually, that right there, that's a, that's a Zotac. I think that's a 1070 also that I might want to use. Oh, man. I can't wait to build in this thing. We're still waiting on the water block that will be here in a couple of days. The water block. Man, I got a mess to clean up, too. Mm -mm -mm. The water block will come. Let's see here. The water block will come. What else will come? I'm trying to think. There were some other things that I ordered too that were going to be here. Oh, the RAM! Shit! Oh, jeez, I can't believe I forgot about that. The RAM, the RAM will be here shortly. Um, why did I come over here? There was something that I wanted to show you guys. I'd like to use these. These are cool. This is going to be in my. Uh, I'm going to do an old school water build, and these are radiator mounts. And let's say. Uh, Let's see here. Like this is the back of your case, right? And you want to mount a radiator to it? Well, that's what this thing is for. See, it mounts like that. Um, and then I have a shorter version, uh, like 120. So you can mount it on the back and actually make a shelf. All right, so because it, it's only about that wide, the 120 version is. I think this is a 280, actually. I don't think this is, it could be used as both. You know, you put 120 or 140. I actually spent the more money on this because I thought that I would like the variety of using either a 120 millimeter fan or a 140 millimeter fan. But anyway, it mounts like that on the outside of your case. And then you can hook your fans and reservoirs to it. And then I have other brackets that mount on the back right here where these two go right here. It mounts there and comes out. And that way you can put the reservoir and stuff on it. So that's going to be a fun build too. And I want to build a RGB wall, like a custom wall like what i saw at micro center where it had like the reservoirs and the tubes and stuff running through and it really didn't serve no purpose it was just to look cool and i definitely think i have enough here to do that with oh look brackets brackets these are expensive little brackets these little custom brackets that you use to mount all this stuff in but anyway i figured once the motherboard is in i'm like it'll cover all of that so i'll probably just have that much to play with and i'm assuming that all this will be open so that will give me a place maybe to mount something there i don't know what to be there um, i haven't quite figured it all out yet what i'll have to do is i'll have to put the motherboard in i'll have to basically build it power supply motherboard and i'll put the graphics card and all that in there and then I will probably have to try to map out a way. I've looked at the way that some of the guys have built in these. And all of them, like all of them have a reservoir that like sits at the bottom of it. Okay, so like here I'll use. I swear I bought this reservoir brand new and I still have not used it. You know what I've used it for? For demonstration for you guys to show you all what my ideas were because it works great. But anyway. Most of them have it like that, and then they'll have the they'll have the radiator in the back here. So let's let's get the radiator 
here. Okay. So it'll kind of look like that. So they'll have the pump and then the radiator in the back. All right, and then they'll they'll have it going from the CPU down to the GPU, back into the reservoir pump, and then they usually have a really long, tall tube that goes straight up and pumps it right back into the reservoir or back into the radiator and then back out into the loop again. Uh, my ideas are to run two reservoirs, uh, two pumps, but I want one pump to be at the bottom and I want one pump to be at the top somewhere, not exactly sure. And then I have that hexagon reservoir that I am just dying to use. This thing right here, it is also made by Bits Power. And I'm not sure where we can put this at, but it's all about the ideas. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing. I've just been sitting out here trying to figure this thing out. How am I going to build in this? I want it to be epic. I want it to be different. I'm not going to go with straight, straight lines anymore. We might have like a bend in it and then goes in like, I want it to be just a crazy and I need a theme. I have to come up with a theme. Um, I'm kind of going with like an all like metal kind of jet looking color, military futuristic looking color. Uh, but also, I'm not sure either. It's going, to, it's going to have a small touch of blue. And of course, everything else will be full RGB. We will full RGB it. Uh, but yeah. Ow, I just stepped on something. So, yes. Parts, parts, parts. So that's just kind of what I've been sitting here doing. Just sitting here thinking about this. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I may consider taking off the front I.O. panel and just using the... I don't know. I might change the fans. I think I might keep the fans, actually. I think I just might keep that, make it make my life a lot simpler. Uh, but it will need to be rewired, though. So, all right. Well, I was just talking. I don't know. Maybe I should talk like this. It's probably a waste of video. Um, I'm not going to probably edit this down too much. I'm just going to probably upload it for you guys. Um, but we need to we need to do some things with this stuff. I got more and more of it in the house and I'm running out of space so I need to start building but okay I'm gonna get out of here thanks y'all be cool